Same. <laughs> I am having the time of my life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Snakey Sue. And you can hire Sue. She will come and do classes at school. She does sand, uh, snake dancing. She does so much. Her number's on this video. If you want to contact Sue, she can come to any school near you and teach children about snakes, how to handle them, and everything that I'm teaching you now. But there's so much more when she comes to you than the films I'm making. I'm just trying to give you a demonstration what Sue is capable of. Anyway, it's time to meet some Kenyan sand boas. And these are snakes, not like I've ever heard before. I've heard of Ken Kenya, I've heard of boas, and I've heard of snakes but not the three into one title. So we are talking Kenyan sand boas. Have you ever seen one? Could you tell me what one looks like? Well, how about I show you right now? This is the power we have. Welcome to a Kenyan sand boa with our amazing Snakey Sue. We do love you and George and your family. And it's one, two, here we go. Wow, he's small. Oh, they're tiny. Tiny. And this is... Um... Will it get big? No, this one yes. is 26 years old. What, that big? Yeah. 26? <laughs> that, he's the daddy. Look at him. And this is Kevin. Yeah. He's, he's um, about seven now. So how so come I've we... read them, like, he, the, their mummy died a few months oh, ago. Oh, sorry to hear that. She was 26 and, and the mummy died. Oh. But she was, she was one of my favourite snakes. She was just such a love, wonderful, wonderful... They say petite, snake. aren't they? But the mummy... The, the females, I will show you, yep. they're bigger. Oh, big, much bigger. bigger. Yeah. So much what, these males have to bigger. breed with the female? Yeah. That's they, bigger? They have to Don't do the it. females eat the males? No. Because in some but some nature, like spiders eat them, etc., don't they? Well, yeah, that, actually, we'll go on to that later. Oh. <laughs> David Attenborough, <laughs> eat your heart out. You just met me and Snakey Sue. So uh, these are so, amazing. Yeah, this, so, yeah, I don't take out Kenny too much now. Not for, no. I'll take him out a little bit, but... Only if I think he's going to be handled gently because he's he's getting old. You know? oh, he's lovely, he, and um, what what is their like? What is their tricks and what is their like specialities in Kenya? How do they survive and they're only size? What they do is you see, they're called sand boas. Yeah. So they hide under sandy sort of substrate. Yeah. And that's the camouflage on their back. So they actually look like sand. So they're one that under the sand. That's that you could you know that mixes in. Because with they're the so colour. small, do they have like a defense and they or have anything? Like a little um. Yeah, I'll tell you about that because it's really funny. Thank you. <laughs> they have like a little um, shovel nose to dig down underneath, and all you see of them is in the vivarium here. You, yeah. you have to dig about for them because they're hi they're hiding underneath. You know, gotcha. all you can see of them if you look in is the just that little front bit of their head because their eyes mean? are their eyes are right. From there, right in the front there, like that. And their little nose. That's that's all you see. And wow. then in the wild, they eat sand geckos. So the sand geckos run across the sand. Yep. And they dive out and grab them. Well, and the only so small, where they can eat big things. Well, they can eat some reasonable size. You know, obviously yeah. they must be quite small. Yeah, of course. Small uh, creatures, uh, the sand geckos. So, so how come the females are bigger than the males? Well, the females, the thing is... With the boas, they're usually bigger as well. And so pythons, they're usually bigger. Right. That's because in the wild, they would not have uh, anybody stopping them from breeding. So the females, they can't... When they're gra what we call gravid, which is pregnant... Yes. They can't eat at that time. Okay. Because they would disturb the eggs inside the body. So they have to go for a while without eating. Till they, that's two and a half months when they, and then they lay the eggs. Gotcha. And... Um, so obviously they've got to they've got to have a nice you know chunky body to overcome the fact that they won't eat for a while and that they'll get then the and the babies the, the the eggs will take a lot of goodness out of their body and they'll become quite slim and they have to sort of build up, build up again whereas the males they don't have to worry about that and sure. they go off their food as well i mean these these tiny males they only eat about every two or three months they're very friendly, aren't so they? They're not aren't very they? easy to, to care, care for. No. Because you don't know when they're going to eat. Are their numbers in decline or anything? Because they seem very placid and very kind. Or well, in the, for me, they know me. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, if a, if you as a stranger, yes, were to put your hand in that vivarium, because yep. it's happened to my um, volunteers. Sometimes, yes. They <laughs> fling their body in the air like that. And that scares them. <laughs> and they've even bitten some. 
a bit in the volunteers sometimes. They really do know you. But they won't bite me and they won't fling their bodies in the air because they they obviously know my yeah. touch. Yeah, you're the hand that rocks the cradle. Mm. And they you feed these beauties. Look at these. I think, see, um, I don't think they're really aware of that. No. Uh, about the fact that I feed. So there's three, there's George, he's in there somewhere as well, but oh, I just found okay. these two. But what I, do, what I do, when they live together like this, yes. you have to take them out, yep. set, put them in separate boxes to feed them. You mustn't feed them together because they could bite one another by mistake. Okay. So you put them in separate little boxes, yeah. and then I and I just put the mouse in. I either put put it in at the beginning, or I put the snake in, then put the mouse in with the tongs. And so I, I'm not sure if they're aware of the fact that I actually feed them. Yeah. The food just turns up, and that's you know but what I mean. They've been alive for 26 years. So I'm you're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Kenny, he was. Um, this is Kenny. Kenny was. Um, Hello, Kenny. Uh, five years old when he came to live with me. Hello, Kenny. So, as you can imagine, I've had him a very long time. I've had him over 20, 21 years. Wow. And, um, and his um, lady love as well, who lived with her daughters. And, um, it's like a know, fairy tale. She died recently. That's also. not a fairy tale. It was very, very sad. But I knew she was going to go. Yeah. How yeah. old was she? She was the same age, 26. 26. Yeah. You must really pick up a lovely bond with your animals, so have them all these years. Yeah, I do. Well, wow. will they go under the sand now? Yeah, they? they'll just die down under. Let's see if we can get that on film. If I move that about and they hear it, it'll make them a little bit fine. Wow, look at the speed they can move up to when they want to. Mm. So you can imagine when they jump, you know, get out to get a, get a sand gecko. Their they skin, have to be really fast. Their skin stays moist as well, doesn't it? It's not really moist. It's just really glittery, their skin. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's quite interesting. The, yeah, their skin is really, like, glistening. Well, it's not wet because people often think snakes yeah. are slimy or wet. Yeah, you do. Yeah, wet. no, it just looks that way. Because obviously, because they go in water a lot, that's why they're wet. Yeah, well, these don't. Look, there's a head, there's a head there. There's a head sticking me. out there. Is that? See the head there? Oh, that's George, is it? Yeah, look, <laughs> oh, see yeah, that's George. Oh no, no, it's not. It's this this one here. That's his head. Well, He's going one. under there like that. Look at him. Let me zoom <laughs> up on it. Wow. You would not see him, would you? No, no. It's just the not. eye. He doesn't move, does he? No. The head is under there of George. That is amazing. That is excellent vision. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Your Kenyan sand brothers. And do you think we're finished? No, we have only just started. We have, actually. <laughs> so shine on. The next video is coming with whatever the name of the next animal is. Shine on. This one is a little devil.